Um, this is one of the first big efforts under our resiliency grant, a federal grant that we received. Uh, this rock cut used to drop material, especially in harsh weather. And so 300 foot wall has been put in while the line's out of service at this end. Uh, progress is good. Um, all they have to do now is really uh, tighten up these tie backs that go into the rock uh, to give this wall some extra strength. Uh, that starts up real soon and so it looks like uh, this wall is in good shape here uh, in terms of being done at, at Media Station. I'm with Foreman Bill Stockland from the Electric Traction Department. Since 2000, the ET Group has replaced 160 miles of catenary. It's a big portion of our system. Um, Normally we have to do it with trains running. While the trains aren't running out here, this has been a great time for us to do a, lo a lot of work on the overhead wires. This is a great job that they do and uh, it's really made SEPTA much, much more reliable having all this new catenary. I'm standing in front of one of two wire trains that SEPTA has, but we put this out here strategically to be able to do a lot of catenary work. Right now, as you saw, the crews are working from their bucket trucks uh, but most of this outage, the train has been rolling around working on overhead wires. North of Media Station now, we've walked just a little bit on the other side of the Orange Street Bridge, and you can see we're still working on securing these old rock cuts. This section doesn't need a wall, it's pretty sturdy, but as you look, we've got sections of retaining wall built over there, and on the other side, a lower section of wall. All of this uh, will make our system more reliable. If you look, there's an awful lot of wires, that electrical wires, communications, signals, all kinds of things that run over top of where this wall has been built. Uh, had we had to do this when trains were running, it would have been a really, really hard project to do. I'm out at the Ridley Creek Viaduct now. Uh, there are four very, very large viaducts on this line. Uh, two of them are in the out of service area. This one here over Ridley Creek and the next one at Crumb Creek. Um, at Ridley Creek we're just rehabilitating the bridge and again this outage is a perfect opportunity to be able to work on certain elements of this structure and what you see us doing here is replacing the back wall to the abutment. So we've literally taken the tracks out, we're building up a new concrete back wall uh, and then everything will be restored prior to the end of the outage. So it's important for us to be able to uh, do work like this as well. Very hard to create a situation and do the work as efficiently and as, and as well as we can without an outage like this one. Behind me is the Crumb Creek Viaduct. This is the main attraction of our outage on the Media Elwin line. It was constructed in 1895. Um, I'm a structural engineer. This bridge was definitely ready to be replaced and has kept me up many nights. So I'm, there's no one happier than me that this viaduct has been replaced. Um, I'd also really like to thank our riders because they've had to put up with some inconvenience during this time. But this really allowed us to get this project done fast, uh, cost effectively, and uh, now safety is, is definitely uh, in good shape by having this, this new structure that's just been designed to last a hundred years. Uh, very difficult site access. Uh, Swarthmore College, the residents have all been very helpful in working with us to do this project. And I'd like to congratulate Walsh Construction on getting to this point. It's been a, a, a great project. All indications are that this project is on schedule. You can even see track going back behind me. This is a 115 pound rail being installed by the subcontractor Peoples uh, for Walsh. This is, uh, uh, we're at right on schedule, right where we need to be. So should be returning to service right after Labor Day. Uh, and we thank our riders for their patience and understanding while this project has been conducted.